Hi everybody! Okay, I'm going to try and make you a very simple video on how to make these um, wood bowl candles. Now, this is not normally the way that we would make them. Um, I'm just trying to keep them as simple as possible where you don't have to buy a ton of things to make them. Um, so I'm going to go over what you need first. You're going to need... You could get away with using one pot, but it's just going to be a lot more time consuming. So you would definitely do two, um, especially if you're doing two different scents. That way one could be for one and one could be for the other. But you're going to have to use a double boiler since you don't have um, one of those big fancy pots back there. That I just throw my wax into. It holds 50 pounds of wax and it just melts it down. It's very simple. Um, but since you don't have one of those, you're going to use just a regular pot. Put it right on the, t on the top of the stove about this much water in the bottom and just use this as a double boiler so you're going to fill your wax chips in here and then you'll just put it in there it'll melt down so um, having two of these is going to be really productive because you can only fit about three pounds in each one um, and that's only going to do about three bowls at a time maybe four depending on how big your bowls are um, so you're going to constantly be refilling these waiting for them to melt refill these are about eight or nine dollars so just grab two or even three if you wanna go even quicker, but since you're not gonna be using them again, stick with two, it should be fine. Um, I recommend doing two different fragrant candles because if you have 50 candles, you could do two different ones and some people may like one scent better than the other. Um, so it just gives more options. So two wax pitchers. These are just wooden skewers. You can use anything that's nice and thin like that. It's just like a giant toothpick. I just usually have them in my kitchen. Um, next, you're gonna need your wicks. I'm gonna send you a link for the stuff that you need to order, um, but you're gonna use three of these for each bowl. I'm gonna be doing two just to show you simply how to do it. So three wicks for each of those. You need a scale. I tried to think of any way possible that you could get away with not doing one, but realistically, you need one. Um, you can Amazon it. I think you can get them for like 15 bucks. You need it though, because if you don't weigh out your wax and you just start throwing fragrance oil in there, it can actually be a fire hazard. So you don't wanna just add too much fragrance oil thinking, oh, it smells good now. And you don't wanna have too little because then it won't light. Um, so you really do need a scale to properly weigh it out. Next, hot glue gun. And then your fragrance oil. Okay. So you're going to start by filling one of these up with your wax melts. They come in little chips, so they're easy to melt. They look like this. So you're going to fill one of those up as high as you can. Go ahead and stick that in your um, double boiler. And it should take just a couple minutes for it to go ahead and melt down. I'm gonna show you this step real quick. You wanna turn on your scale. Make sure it's down to a zero reading. I think it's gonna be really hard to see it on there, but it says zero now. You're gonna go ahead and put your empty pot on there and you're gonna tear it, make it back down to zero. So now um, when you're adding your flakes in there, you wanna be able to equal three pounds of wax. We are at three pounds, nine ounces. So I'm gonna pour some back. You'll be able to um, gauge it once you're just filling the flakes in there. You'll see if it's three pounds and you just keep adding until you get to three pounds. Great, so we're at three pounds now. So that's gonna sit right on there. Then once you have your three pounds in, um, if you feel like you can fit four pounds, go to four pounds if it's easier. Um, that way you're not doing quite as many. You're just gonna hit that tear button again, bring the scale down to zero. So now again, we're back at zero, but we do have that three pounds of wax in there. Then you're gonna take your fragrance oil. For every um, one pound of wax, we're gonna add one ounce a fragrance oil. That would be the easiest way for me to teach you guys how to do it. Um, if you got more into it, there would be a different, you know, makeup of how to do this. It'd be a little more involved, a little more intense, but for the easiest way possible, one pound, one ounce. 
So we have that three pounds, so we're gonna add three ounces. Perfect. All right, we have our three ounces, our three pounds of wax. We do not need the scale. Um, each time that you create a new pot, you're gonna need the scale. Each time to make sure that you are zeroing out after you put the empty pot on there. And then again, three to four pounds, and then three to four ounces of your fragrance oil. So now you're gonna take your skewer, you're gonna stir. You wanna stir, um, I would say, for a good 30 to 60 seconds, make sure everything is really blended in there well. And then we're gonna let that sit for a minute. Now, the day before you do this, oh, that smells so good. I used a Macintosh apple, I love it. It's not too sweet, it actually smells kind of like a holiday scent, um, but it's really good. So before you do this, the day before you do this, um, there's a couple things you could do with these bowls. Some of the bowls, because they are a natural wood, I'm assuming that's what you have as well, because they are a natural wood, sometimes they have holes in them. Um, if you have a hole and you pour wax into it, it's gonna come out. There's no way to seal it. Um, not that it's safe for flammable use once you put a wick with fire in there. Um, so you have to test your bowls ahead of time. The best way to do that is 24 hours before doing this, you pour a little bit of water in each one um, about to where you would want the wax line to be. So pretend it's wax, but just use water. You're going to set it down and wait 10 minutes. Um, you could do all 50 at one time. You don't need to wait 10 minutes for individual bowls. Um, lay them all out, pour water in all of them. If any of them are leaking, you unfortunately need to take those to the side and you cannot use those um, for your candles, but you could use them for something else. Like I have, you know, I throw my car keys in one by the front door or do anything like that. Um, but you can just pour water in them. If any leaks, toss them to the side and find something else to do with them. Hey again, sorry, I had a um, client walk in looking for some candles. So, um, where was I? The water, put the water in, make sure there's no holes. Um, do that about 24 hours prior. That way you can make sure that nothing is leaking and then it's fully dry. Um, because even if you do it like a half hour before and you try to use paper towel to dry it, um, it might already be kind of in the wood. So I'm not sure if you have like a natural wood or a sealed wood um, bowl, but you just wanna do it ahead of time so that it's naturally dry by itself. Okay, so stir again, and then very simple, we're going to take the hot glue gun and just do a little dot right here. Always start and find the center first, and then do the other two. So it should look like that. One, two, three. And then we'll do this other one real quick. It smells so good in here now. Um, this apple scent is so nice. Any of the, like, the uh, Macintosh apple scents are really pretty good. Okay. Okay, boom. So now you have your bowls that look like this. Now these are gonna fall over. Everybody always starts playing with them. They wanna start trimming them, making them nice and tall. You don't need to do any of that yet. You wanna leave them just like that. Um, go ahead and give this a stir. And then you're gonna use a paper towel. I always um, use paper towel because when I pour, sometimes it will dribble down like the pour spot area. So I like to just hold it like this, pour it in. And then just wipe it and then move on to the next one. There you go. So I still have wax left over. Um, like I said, you can usually get about three of them depending on how big your bowls are. 
Um, but this would have filled the third one, so I'll probably just go grab another one when I turn this off and make another one. Um, okay, so now you have your wicks in there. If you do not have a wick trimmer, some people have them at home because they use them for the regular candles. If you don't have a wick trimmer, you can just use a pair of scissors. Um, you want to take the wick like this and you want to just kind of give it a little rotate. You don't want to pull it up. You kind of just want to get it so it finds a center and then trim. I trim them a little long right now, so I'm leaving about a half inch um, of wick on there just until it cools, solidifies, and then when it's completely dry, um, I will come back and trim it down a little bit. You want to leave about a quarter of an inch um, of the wick in there. I don't trim it down right now all the way down low just in case for some reason it starts to dip into the wax and needs to be pulled back up. I don't want to go fishing for it. So if you leave a little bit of room there, then you can fix it. Um, so again, just kind of give it a little rotate, make sure it's up in the center. And then that's it. Very simple. Um, these are going to take probably two hours to um, fully harden. But as far as curing, you're going to want to wait at least 24 hours before lighting. Um, ideally, if you have the time, if you've made them early enough, you're going to want to wait at least seven days um, before lighting. Each day, the, ca the candle continues to grow stronger and stronger in scent. So um, it just makes a hardier, stronger scent, especially because there's not a lid on them. You want to really let them fully cure. Um, when you're done with it and you have a candle just by itself, um, you can wrap it really pretty too with like a little bit of twine. I will show you that. Hold on one second. Okay, so I have one here that's already finished um, and some twine. So, or you could do like a little ribbon or a little lace or whatever. Um, I simply do one of these. Let me move these out of the way. Smells so, so good. Okay. So just like you're wrapping a package, you would just want to stick it under like this. And this, I feel like, just really gives it that um, little finishing touch, makes it like a little complete package. Um, but you get the point. You would just make like a cute little bow. Um, and then I often take, if you're doing it for Christmas, take um, a little piece of pine or spruce or something underneath there and just kind of stick it under there. Um, and then that way you have your nice candle with your little pine or you can add, um, you can tie in like a little baby pine cone or something like that. Um, just give it that extra little thing. Also for Christmas, I will um, add like a cardboard um, Christmas label and you can attach, you can write your name and everything right on there and just slip it right in through that twine. And then it looks like fully complete, easy. These are super simple to do. To do 50, it shouldn't take you more than a couple hours. Again, your hardest thing, most time consuming part is going to be double boiling. Um, so like I said, if you're gonna do two cents, grab at least two pitchers, eight or nine dollars. It's just totally worth it. It goes by so much quicker. You don't wanna do just one pot. You will literally be sitting there all day waiting for that wax to melt. Um, it does melt fairly quickly once that water is boiling because it's those um, flaky chips here. But having to wait each time, you know, just get, two regular pots, like your cooking pots, um, that much water, fill it in, and then you're ready to go. Again, make sure you have your scale, one pound, one ounce of fragrance. Um, so you should have about, these are 16 ounce bottles. So you technically could get away with four bottles. Um, that should be perfectly fine. You'll probably have a little leftover too. If you did three, you would be at 48 ounces. Maybe you could do that and just make it stretch a little. It's totally up to you. They're about $20 a bottle. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to help.